Welcome to the Amazon EC2 Getting Started Guide. We'll first go to aws.amazon.com and here we'll create an AWS account and start a free AMI as well as then start a purchase AMI and we'll do all of this within eight minutes. Just go ahead and use your amazon.com ID, the same one you'd use to uh, buy CDs, books, and DVDs. We'll sign the customer agreement and you should get an email confirmation. From here, let's go ahead and go to the Elastic Compute Cloud area, and then we'll sign up for the Amazon EC2. Here you'll see all the pricing that's there, as well as uh, the credit card that you can use. Um, we can continue from here. I'll just use the credit card that I have in my Amazon account. And uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down on this page, and it will show the payment and billing address, and we'll complete the sign up now. From here, we'll go back to the Elastic Compute Cloud page, and we'll go to the Access Identifiers area underneath the Your Account tab. So we have to create a certificate, and uh, you scroll down this page all the way to the bottom, and you'll notice there's a Create New X509 Certificate. We'll click Yes here, and we'll have to sign in again with our Amazon ID. And with these two files here, you can download if you want to use the EC2 CLI, but we don't need to download them now. So with that, let's sign on to the Amazon AWS console. Before we launch anything here, we need to create an SSH key pair and also update the firewall rules. So let's start by creating an SSH key pair. Click the Create button and create a key pair called Key Pair 1. When you click Create, uh, it downloads a PEM file automatically. Uh, you can save that. Now what we'll do is we'll also uh, convert the the PEM file into a .ppk file using PuTTY Gen, which can later be used with PuTTY since this is a Windows environment. I just use PuTTY Gen to, to create it and I will set, uh, set the comment so that it, it's meaningful and it, it says the key pair name and it also says EC2 and then I'll save the private key. So now we click on security group. There is a default security group, which is a default set of firewall rules. Now we are going to add several things to it. We are going to add, we are going to open the SSH port. We are going to open the HTTP port. And we are also going to open the HTTPS port. The default rule also has a very permissive all TCP open rule and we are going to get rid of that. So now we only have three po meaningful TCP ports open. Now we go back to the dashboard and click on launch. The first AMI that we see in quick start is the Fedora AMI which is what we launched just as an example. We don't need to do the first part because we already have created a security group. We create, we use the key pair, do the security group and click on launch. Now we close and now we go back to instances to monitor the progress. It will remain in this state for maybe two minutes or so, but here with some video magic it's automatically started. Now we can click on that and we see the public DNS. This is the DNS address that you'll use to access it externally. Just to test that everything is working fine, we'll use putty to SSH into this DNS address. Now with putty we will use the key pair that we generated before and if we can log on uh, everything has worked fine so far. So I think this is going to go fine and okay it just prompts me and I have logged on. Everything is great. One thing, uh, another thing that, that I want to show here on, on the console is uh, the console output. So this is the actual raw VM output that, that you can see if, if the need be. Um, so basically everything is done. Now we should terminate the instance. Now re remember to terminate the instance because you will be built if you don't terminate it. 
again it's shutting down uh, we get an unexpected halt because we just shut down that machine and now we can try launching an AMI that has to be purchased so we'll go ahead and click a launch instance and we'll go to the community AMIs and we'll search for smash so we'll go ahead and type in smash in the field box and then we will select the smash 1101 AMI and try launching as before we'll go ahead and skip this page again on the firewall configuration and we'll make one number of instance and we'll select the key pair one for the key pair we'll go ahead and launch and notice that there is a problem there is a subscription to product code which is required and there's an error since you have not purchased it the person or vendor who's paid AMI you are trying to launch should provide a subscription URL and here we have one for smash so reauthorize and then we can buy the AMI so put in Amazon.com uh, password again and so here is the placing your order for the AMI and now try to relaunch the smash after you've seen the quick start guide and it should succeed now so in this case go ahead and fill in for smash again we filtered it it's on the bottom and we'll wait for the instance to come up and there's a few, some advanced options are right here but we don't need any of them and we'll go ahead and launch and uh, as you can see it's now started and it is running and we click on it and you can see all the properties including the DNS's and the key pair names and uh, we hope you enjoy the Amazon EC2